for you, boo, and I'll be your mommy. Hi everyone, I'm Miss India. The technique that I've just used is a fairly common technique called flashback. Today I'm going to share with you three tips on how to make a flashback more interesting and impactful. Firstly, start with a relevant trigger. Ensure that there's a trigger to spark the flashback. Memories do not arise out of nowhere. Something in the present tends to trigger the flashback. Also, ensure that your trigger is relevant to the context. If you're looking through old photographs, it could be because you were organizing your cupboard and you chanced upon a photo album. While packing my desk, I caught sight of an, of an old photo album which was tucked quietly between my pile of books. I picked it up and a smile crept across my face. I knew what it was. I leafed through the pages of photographs that captured his growth. How fast time has flown by! I still remember vividly the day I got him five years ago, like it was just yesterday. Note how in the sample paragraph, I introduced a relevant context, which was while I was packing my desk to introduce why I was looking through the folded album. You are also encouraged to do this to provide a context for the trigger. Tip number two, enhance your trigger through the use of sensory details. In the previous example, the character was looking through the photo album. The writer uses sense of sight to describe what had triggered the memory. Other than the sense of sight, you can also describe using your other senses, such as the sense of smell. A familiar scent of roses wafted to my nose when I walked past the garden. It reminded me of the very first bouquet of flowers that I gave my mother. One crystal bead escaped from my right eye and a rush of gratitude filled me. Memories of that day when I visited her at hospital came rushing back to my mind. Notice how the sense of smell can be used to evoke memories as well? Or the cold rain pelting mercilessly on your skin could have brought you back to the time when you had to find your lost cat in a thunderstorm. An unappetizing meal of curry chicken could make you yearn for your grandmother's version because it was the best you've ever had. So, be imaginative and come up with your own interesting flashbacks through the use of your different senses. Lastly, add in a description of a relevant emotion. A flashback occurs because the memories hold enough significance for the character to remember it vividly. However, Flashbacks could also evoke emotions. Let's take a look at this example. Greg raised his head to admire the lights at the carnival. Memories of the incident dream rushing back to his mind. Do you notice that this flashback is to play? Let us improve on this flashback by including an emotion. Greg raised his head to admire the lights at the carnival. The atmosphere was as electrifying as he remembered it to be when he was there with Amanda two years ago. Come on, you will love it! A word rang in his ears. He could not stop the smile that began forming on his face. Staring at the colourful lights, memories of that day came rushing back to him. Now, did you notice that the addition of the emotion gave life to the story and made it more interesting? We have come to the end of the video. I hope these three tips will be useful in your composition writing. Remember, number one, always start with a relevant context. Number two, try to include your own sensory details. And number three, add in an emotion so that it gives life to the story. See you on the next post! If you like our videos, please subscribe. And if you want to find out more about our English programs, please visit our website. See you on the next video!